That's pretty much it. I mean, I could probably take this thing and chuck it up Please against don't. the... Please No? No. Okay. Well, we are here at the shop today. It is Monday. It is 4.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> Um, but I decided to stop by the shop after doing some shopping today to get started on my eBay auctions for this week. Um, our eBay auctions run Tuesday through Sunday um, every single week. So far, I've been really good about keeping that up. Um, I don't think I've missed for a while. So we're going to go in. Shelby's been here. She's been processing stuff. So we have an array of items to choose from. Uh, let's head in. Here we go. This is the first thing you need to do <laughs> is go pick out your donation item that we can send to Commonwealth Picker for the St. Jude charity auction. Yes, that's a great idea. So I've already got, I pulled a coin, a certified silver eagle. I'm sending him and you need to pick something out. And he's going to be selling that on whatnot. Um, I think what not. No? More. We'll find out. I'll put the, the we'll details down in the description. Um, because Commonwealth Picker is having a fundraiser and he's gathering items from a bunch of different resellers. And it's a fundraiser Somebody for St. Jude's. Somebody donated a PlayStation Switch or um, Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool. Yeah, oh, I did um, see that. Yeah. I saw, I saw Baby from the TV show Dinosaurs. <laughs> I think that was from uh, ADH Dave. Oh, cool. There was, yeah, that was looking, there was some cool stuff. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing the certified uh, slab silver eagle and um, I need you to find something that represents you. I wonder what that would be, maybe glass? Probably some glass. All right, let's look on the table and see what we've got. This is the first piece that comes to mind. This is the first one that I'm like thinking of when I'm thinking of that, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm envisioning is this. The other option is this face, but see, I couldn't figure out who makes this. It would take a little bit more research. So I'm thinking this, it's such a pretty piece of glass. It is more Calvin Klein, but I think we'll put that as a donation. Or the St. Jude's. And I will put the details for that auction down in the description. So if you want to bid on this or you want to see what else he's got up for auction. And um, like I said, the proceeds are going to a good cause. So we'll put the details down below. Well, that's pretty. Isn't it? Nice piece of glass. Here's a happiness rock. Is it the new happiness? Mm hmm <laughs> Since everybody has been asking for a packing video, here's a quick glimpse of Andrew packing a vase. Yeah. Is that what that is? It's bubble wrap. <laughs> that it. joke. It's, you know, oh yeah, yeah, bad joke. Gosh, it sounds like nails on a chalkboard. <laughs> Good. It's a really heavy piece of glass, and I hate to see it. More sheet so that's that's nice and snug in there. It's not too tight, but it's not loose. And then when you go to close your box, I like I like a nice uniform seam. Tape going same direction both sides. Yes. 
Very, he's very OCD. About well, it's this. not. It's not even really OCD. It's about the presentation. It is. It is. I like to go around to the top of the box when I do it, because then when I put my label on, it ensures that my tape's not going to peel off. Because sometimes you buy tape and it's not the greatest quality. That's pretty much it. I mean, I could probably take this thing and chuck it up Please against don't. the. No. Sure? Yeah. <gasps> okay. You're lucky I have faith in your packing. Okay, I'm gonna go select items. Okay. I'm gonna do my job so I can get home at a reasonable time. I love you. Love you too. Okay, bye. All right, we've got empty carts. Whatnot got shipped out today. eBay got pulled. I have already set a few items back here that I thought would make good items for this week's eBay sale. This is one of them. It has little gems in the tree. I'm not sure what the gems are, but um, I don't know if they're like, there's this watermelon stone. I forget what it's called, like watermelon tourmaline or something. And this is what makes me think it could be that. I don't know. Uh, those of you who are stone experts should tell me um, in the comments. But this one stone right here has green and pink in the same stone. Some are green, some are pink. That one's missing, missing one. But it's a gem tree. So we'll include that on eBay. This wooden box. So anyway, let's wheel the cart. Come with me, let's go to the front. So let's look here on the table first. This is so adorable. I forget, didn't it say something on it? It was on the bottom. Norway. Stavanger Flint. <laughs> it's got a little hole in the top. So I'm not really sure the purpose of this. But it's got the guy sleeping. Is that, um, what's the fairy tale of the guy sleeping? I can't remember. I'm gonna try to get that uh, adhesive off before I photograph it though. Scotty Peeler. That one piece is very stubborn. There we go. All better. All right. I just cleaned up these pineapple candle holders. <laughs> they look a lot nicer. Oh. Andrew had locked himself out. They're still a little soapy though, so let's. Uh... There we go. Better. I think this is some sort of tiki thing. Put a tea light in there and it lights up. So we'll stick that there. This. There's more that goes with that. I think it's actually on the other table. Looking at the llama, I'm like, do we put the llama on eBay? <laughs> He's so cute, look at his face. Alright, I think I'm going to hold off on listing the llama. Um, let's go check out the other table. As promised, we have a little bit of Murano in this sale. And then let's look at the table. Ah, oh, there's the rest of that. Um, Egg cup. May you be happy. I remember buying that at Goodwill. Bill Campbell. I've got two Bill Campbells sitting over here. Three, if you count the crystal. You know. Oh, wait. Three. And four, if you count the crystalline. So maybe I should put some on eBay. We have the Ikebana and two vases. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's do that guy. All right. Moravian tiles. I remember finding those at Goodwill. I don't remember this bird. 
Where did I find this bird? <laughs> Shelby must be processing some older stuff because I'm not recalling it. Um, we could do the potting shed candle holders. A little bit of Talavera. vera. Echo in Mexico is the sticker on that. That's why I find it oftentimes without a marking on it. Probably because it originally had a sticker. That explains a lot. Now over here, if we scooch this guy over very carefully, <laughs> this duck hiding here. Isn't it so darling? I thought that this was the designer from Denmark. I can't remember his name, um, but this is made in Japan. It's marked right there, Japan. So it was made to emulate um, the designer out of Denmark, who I can't remember his name, but it's still really cute, and we're going to stick that in our pile this week. Uh, the Now Dove. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank as to where I found him. We'll put him over here. This bird just keeps staring at me, and I really like him, and so I think I'm having a hard time picking him up. Because I know if I pick him up, whether I pick him up for eBay or I pick him up for whatnot, I have to let him go. And every so often I have pieces like this where I'm like, I don't know if I want to let it go, but I can't keep everything. <laughs> and I know somebody else will appreciate him more than I will. So, he will go. It's just not his time yet. It's not his time. Maybe it's time for this little guy. This is Raku. This is marked. Fork Creek. Ann Williams. Hmm, I think I got that at Crossroads. I think that was the first piece I picked up when I went there a few weeks ago. Um, okay. Obviously, we have nowhere near 20 items. What's happening? being extra picky on what I'm selecting. I think because I'm looking at this table and I'm thinking, buy it now, buy it now. That's too big, that's a buy it now. That's going in my weirdo sale. I have too much invested in this, this is a buy it now. This would do better on whatnot if I was to pick it up. I already chose some Bill Campbell for the sale. Uh, I already have some Dedham Pottery, I'm sorry, Potting Shed Pottery. Here's a mug with a greyhound on it. Let's do that. So that's just kind of my thought process. I know a lot of you are looking at it and you're like, why don't you just pick something? But that's what's going through my head as I look at this table. Uh, this, I don't have a ton into this George Beard with the butterflies. It's so pretty. I love that. The last George Beard piece I picked up had a lot of corrosion on it. It was kind of a bummer. Let's put the George Beard on the cart. Yes. So these boxes right here are things that have come back from the booth. Um, so, I'm to these boxes. I've told you guys before that we don't sell stuff directly from our booth. We are just at our limit. We cannot really facilitate pulling things from our booth and shipping them out to viewers. It just... I know some other resellers do it. We just cannot, we cannot manage that. Um, so I've said in the past, when it comes back to the shop, if it comes back to the shop and it doesn't sell in our booth, I will offer it <laughs> through online commerce sites, such as this. I'm gonna start pulling stuff out of the boxes. There we go. <laughs> this is my mom's favorite platter. That's sarcasm. Um, my mom did not like this, but I love it. That's the difference between mom and my styles. I'm going to get back to you once I have it unwrapped. This. I think it's wonderful. And I was really surprised that there were no signatures on this. So it's kind of curved. I had $35 on that. That would be great for Halloween. I'm going to peel the tag off of it. I don't have any... Um, Measuring tapes up here, so I can't see how much it measures, but I think that, uh, I don't think that's oversized. I try not to include oversized items in my auctions because it deters people from bidding. Um, but, do we, actually, do we need a Scotty Peeler? Look at that, it comes right off. 
No, it doesn't. Okay, I'm going to take care of that right now. All right. <laughs> so we're going to include that. Might as well get rid of some of the stuff that we brought back. I think this is Andrew's railroad pitcher. I think. I don't know. This is one of the blue glass pitchers. We'll stick that on there. That was one of the items mom brought back. We had it only in the booth briefly uh, for 4th of July. And then mom was like, well, let's pull it out. And I was like, it's only been in there for like 10 minutes. Not really. It was in there for a few weeks. But um, put that up. This wooden bowl, handcrafted by Ray Anderson. I was never able to find any information on Ray Anderson. But I thought it was a nice turned bowl. So I had $18 on this. But I'm going to peel the sticker off and we'll include that as well and that's what I'm gonna do I think I'll just start every uh, eBay auction I'll pull a few more pieces shippable pieces out of the boxes because usually for the booth I'm putting non shippable pieces in there but I do sprinkle in the smaller things and I uh, will include a few every week but um, I think that's good for this week I'm gonna actually go back over to the other table and see what we have over there All right, let's do this this is like a carved shell basket. Kind of neat. I wonder what this goes to. I think this is the lid to the goo gone. I have a habit of leaving lids off of things. <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, okay. A lot of you had suggested this was a cricket box. I haven't come across one of those in a very long time, so I wasn't even in the mind frame of Cricut box. So that was pretty cool. Let's do this planter and wash that up real quick. Look at him, he's so cute. He looks a million times better. Now when I look at this table, I'm thinking, booth, buy it now, buy it now, for resale, booth, booth, what not, what not or buy it now, kind of paid up for this piece, these are probably, these are one of those where I don't know, couldn't make out, it almost looks like Daybella, Mount West. But um, they all line up. Those are really neat. Those would make good well. I should check and see what my booth sales were today. I went out shopping at antique malls today. And I'll tell you, half of them had all of their Halloween and fall stuff out. I don't care that it's July 31st. I'm going to text mom and tell her, guess what we're doing this week? It's that time. It's Halloween. I have been trying to clear off this table little by little. I've got Granny here. She's actually worth quite a bit of money. That's why I bought her. However, she came to me without her sticks. She's supposed to be... Oh, my phone's ringing. So basically, Grandma's missing her sticks, is what I was saying before Andrew called. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, she has signed. Look, Grandma Ethel gathers firewood. The Village Elliots. That's the name of this one. But she's, she has no firewood. Could probably still sell her. She's fantastic. Look at the detail on that face. She's wonderful. Um, but that's why she's hung around for so long, because I was like, you know what? I will go out and I will gather a bundle of sticks to give to her, to photograph her. But then, when do I have time to go and gather sticks? I should just list her as is. <laughs> for some reason, I have random measuring cups and spoons. I'm not really sure what they came from. These patches, I swear I listed these before. But for some reason, here they are on this table. Let's include these. And then... We're right here by the jewelry. Let's grab some face pins. There's any more face pins. That one is fun, isn't it? Oh, look at those. There's some fun pins in there. Oh, a hippo. That hippo is cool. That's what I need to do. Maybe I need to run a jewelry sale. 
and just bring you guys to the jewelry box and then just be like what do you want me to run and do one of those sales although i probably couldn't keep all the jewelry straight if i did that i don't see any more faces i think this is all i have in faces but i'll run some faces all right all right well i'm gonna photograph all this and see where it gets me so i was just photographing our friend here <laughs> who since i bought him has had his little hat like this but I went to turn it over and I noticed there's a design there, so I almost wonder if it's supposed to go like this. I think it's supposed to go like that. I think, I think it's supposed to be a serving vessel of some sort. I don't know what. I have to actually research this before I list it now. I am going to turn his hat over though to transport him over to the cart so we don't hurt him. <laughs> And this was actually kind of cool. I didn't realize these were in here. I mean, these are all different. I'm going to sell them as a lot, but mushrooms. Where, where is it? Oh, this. I've got two Disney ones. It looks like Super Mickey. <laughs> That's not Mickey. That's Goofy. Super Goofy. And also Pluto. The butterfly on his nose. So there's 12 of them total there. This is our eBay auction for the week. I feel like we've got some good pieces in here. I love the Murano. This piece from Norway is fantastic. The pineapples are cool. I should check that they glow. Oh, they do glow. Look at that. So these have uh, cad cadmium in the glass and that um, causes an orange glow. So those have a really vibrant orange glow to them. Let's check and see if anything else glows. All right, no, we're good. So there you have it. Our items for eBay this week. I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So long.